There's no better way to start a video. And of course, what a cold start. What's up guys? So I'm back with another car video. I haven't done one in so long. I figured I'd update, update you guys on everything that I've done so far to it since the last upload, which was like three years ago. I can't even remember. Um, is it exact same spot? The exact same spot I'm in right now is when the last time I did a video, I think. And uh, a lot has changed. I gotta be honest with you. As you can tell, the whole damn color is different. So uh, let me show y'all what I got done to it. All right, so first things first, obviously the wrap. We have um, True Blood Red. Um, wrapped around this car i got it in january of 2022 uh literally this year and i gotta say this is the greatest color i could have ever picked um it goes well with the sun especially when it shines on it uh during the day it looks like it has like an orange pearlescent and it kind of makes it glow a little bit more than you know a normal red wood or the stock infinity red so uh and also uh, you can kind of see a little pearl um and ignore that. That was all my fault. I I'll tell you about that, but that was all my fault. But uh, it has a little red pearl to it, or like orange. I don't even know. But the color is True Blood Red. That's what it's called. And uh, a lot of you guys asked me, um, is it even a wrap or paint? It's obviously a wrap. Uh, Y'all know what the car was before. It was black. Uh, we didn't do the door jam, so as you guys can see, ignore how filthy it is. Very dirty. But uh, original color is black, and uh, we just wrapped over it just like that. You can see all the little creases and stuff uh this was uh well done by my boy at third coast customs um and yeah i couldn't be uh more happy than the way it turned out um i got so many compliments on it more than the black did believe it or not uh, i know black kind of looks stealthy and stuff but that red just pops during the day and uh yeah that's uh, mod number one i guess so the next mod I guess we can talk about is the carbon fiber mirror caps. Um, I'm sh not sure if you guys remember what the original OEM ones look like, um, but they're pretty bad. All right, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this one also has a little bit of the BMW touch, as you can see the little wing type thing right there. Um, these actually make a huge difference on the car, especially the, uh, the BMW type ones. There's also carbon fiber um, caps that don't have this. Uh, I wanted to do it just because it's different and uh, does look cool. So yeah, I have those installed and I have a bunch of other carbon fiber stuff as well. So uh, staying on the uh, mirror here, we have the sequential LED lights. As you guys can see when I unlock or lock the car, it does like a little animation type thing. Now you can have these running during the daylight. It'll be like the daytime running lights with the headlights down here, but I don't have that installed. You gotta do a bunch of wiring. I'm not really the best when it comes to that shit. So I just left that alone. And uh, when you turn the hazards on, it also does the animation continuously. So it's kind of cool. Adds a little touch to the car, it matches up here as well. So it's not out of sync. And uh, yeah, by the way, I got both of these from South Bay Artworks. Um, they are, I guess you can call them one of my sponsors. Uh, I have a discount code you guys can use, Q60 Infinity, on their website. And uh, yeah, go get you guys some mirror caps and sequential lights. Uh, really uh, affordable too, not that, not that expensive. So the next mod we can talk about is also carbon fiber. And it's this one right here. It's called the Overlay. Uh, the grill overlay. I've been having it for like two or three years now, I think. And as you guys can tell, it's starting to wear out, um, which is, you know, it's, that's going to happen. I'm not really, you know, that upset about it. But when it's in the front of the car like this, rock chips are going to hit it and everything. So I really can't complain about it. But uh, yeah, it looks really good. It changes the whole look of the front grill, especially when it's come uh, stock chrome, which is uh, atrocious. So uh, yeah, highly recommend getting that. Um, if you want it, it's also on South Bay Artworks. They got everything, all right? I'm gonna put a link in the description and make sure you use my discount code when you uh, check out. Sticking with the front of the car, we have the splitter here. As you guys can see, this is not real carbon fiber, which I am not that upset about. Only reason why, I live in New Orleans and uh, the streets are dog shit. They're terrible. So why spend you know over a grand on a splitter that's probably not gonna last me maybe two weeks. So what I did was I bought one from eBay and that was only a hundred bucks. It's not that cheap, not that expensive, but it served its purpose well. It makes the car look a lot aggressive, way more aggressive than I can uh, imagine from an eBay product at least. And um, 
It's actually my third one. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. The first two broke on me. I had ter I had it terribly installed. All I did was just put tape on it, which was the worst thing you could possibly do when you come to a splitter. You want to drill that shit in your bumper. So I uh, finally did on my third try, third time the charm. And I don't know if I can even show y'all, but I get low enough. You guys can see the, oh yeah, there it is. So we screwed it all the way in, um, into this. So my bumper comes off, this bitch is coming off. So yeah, it actually does change the look of the car a lot. If you guys ever seen a Q60 without a uh, splitter, it just looks empty. It looks like it doesn't have a bottom lip. Like I'm, like if somebody's mouth didn't have a bottom lip, they look weird. That's what it kind of looked like. So I was like, this is a must. And I didn't feel like spending a lot of money over something that probably won't last me. Now it is scraped up, obviously, from t uh, coming up on driveways and stuff. But you can't notice that unless you feel it. So uh, yeah, that's uh, mod number, what, six so far? I don't even know. I lost count. So I had to switch up the camera because my phone died on me. So now I'm on my actual big ass camera. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. But so now let's move on to the next one. It is blacking out everything you can think of that you can black out. I didn't want any chrome in this car uh, only because it didn't make sense for it to be any chrome as I don't have anything chrome on it anymore. Uh, the stock wheels is the only thing that I had left chrome until I got these wheels and uh, I was like, you know what, we got to black them out. So we blacked out everything. Um, you know, it could be done a little better, but at the time I was just like, you know what, let's just see what it looks like and I ended up liking it. Uh, but as you guys can see, I'm due for a uh, fix, so I need to rewrap all that. Um, that's been there for like three years now, so it did its job and uh, held up pretty well. Now, some chrome is peaking as you guys can see here. Um, we actually had to spray paint this because I didn't actually get that emblem in black and I should have done that but I didn't plan on chrome deleting so way later and so we were like look well, all we got to do is just spray paint it and so we spray painted it black and obviously the heat from the engine is coming up and it's breaking up all the paint that we had so I got to get that fixed but everything else looks good there's no chrome uh, I mean the fog lights they don't really count the fog lights but uh yeah so going back to carbon fiber, as you guys can see here, we have this ducktail. It is one of the first mods I put on this car actually. So this thing's been there for a very long time. And as you guys can still see, I still have it. It hasn't flown off into the interstate or anything like that. And I'm going very fast. So um, this thing actually really awesome. And you cannot believe where I got it from. eBay, of course. eBay is probably the greatest uh, website to buy car mods on um, if you're trying to you know, not spend too much money. But this is quality stuff, as you guys can see. Uh, the, the carbon fiber just looks absolutely beautiful, as you guys can kind of tell right here. And uh, it's just something about it just looks really good. So, I don't know who that is, but they just waved at me. <laughs> All right, so getting away from carbon fiber for a second, let's move on to the wheels. I actually did a whole video on these wheels uh, a while back, but I'm just gonna refresh because I haven't done a video in so long. These are Curva C46. These are the best wheels I think you could possibly put in this car, personally, but um, the company is absolutely amazing to work with as well. You know, they actually support every car that they uh, put the wheels on and um, you know they show a hell of support each time I post and they're just a really great company oh, and in general I'm also on their website as well which is kind of cool I'll actually list list that in the description so you guys can go check out the uh, the website um, but yeah these are C46 or 20 inch wheels I also have let's see I'm gonna just show you all the tires so 255 um, 35s and 20 inch obviously um, in the front and then in the back I'm actually I'm actually going a little staggered here. So in the back I'm actually 285s, 30 and uh, 20. So wider in the back, and those are actually stock wheel uh, size in the front. Um, I did that because I wanted to be staggered. Obviously I wanted to make it look more aggressive in the back. But then when I got the car and I was like, you know what, I want to add some spacers. So honestly, moving on to the next mod, uh, I added 25 millimeter spacers in the front. Um, as you guys can see here, they're kind of wearing out. I've been having them for three years now, four years maybe. Um, I got them when I had the stock wheels and uh, they've lasted a very long time, uh, but they are over uh, long overdue for a change because you know, those are very important. If they fall off, break, I'm dead. So um, I have another pair in the trunk, or yeah, in the trunk that I'm uh, gonna put on soon. But uh, those are Z1s, and they've actually lasted longer than I expected. So very good quality by them. You wanna check those guys out. Their website has a bunch of Q60, Q50 stuff as well. So uh, yeah. 
I thought I was done with carbon fiber, but I was wrong. I completely missed a whole diffuser. As you guys can see here, that diffuser cost me a good penny. <laughs> $500 at least. Um, I can't really tell you all the other stuff exactly how much I paid for, but I know this, stu this type stuff is at the top of my head because it was expensive. But um, it also comes with a light. I blacked out the light uh, when I did the chrome delete stuff because uh, I wanted to kind of, the red kind of looked weird. You know, it was weird. I wanted to just have black all down here. I didn't want to have any red. So um, this carbon fiber diffuser actually came from my boy Marky. He, um, I'm going to post them in the description as well. But um, yeah, I mean, I can't complain. That thing is so beautiful looking. It was actually the second or third mod I actually did to this car. Um, so, yeah, it changes the whole look in the back. Uh, I highly recommend getting one. All right, so moving on to tent. Um, I guess you want to conclude this as the tent. I went so dark on the back, I can't even tell you what percentage. But uh, the rear lights are completely tinted out. It looks so good at nighttime because all it shows is just that red glow and the, uh, the logo, I mean not the logo, the uh, the light that Infinity has in the back and it looks so good and especially in the daytime it just looks even cooler because it's just blacked out and you don't see any type of light. Um, and then for the tent I got 5% all around the car and then for the front windshield I have 20%. So as you guys can see here you can't see shit. It is extremely illegal but in my opinion, it's well worth it because it just makes the car look so much better. And uh, I love tent. I love people not being able to see me. And that that tent serves its purpose, I'll tell you that much. So I recommend getting five all around if you can see at night. It is extremely hard to see at night. And I'll tell you why, too. It's not because I just did the windshield. But my dumbass thought it would be cool to tent the headlights as well. And... Tending the headlights actually made a huge drastic difference, um, not only because I can't see at night, but having these RDLs, well, it looks like shit right now on the, on the camera, but um, it only shows the RDLs. It doesn't show the insides of the headlights, so if you're far away, it looks really menacing. So I, I wanted to do that just because, and I wanted to match it with everything else. I had a bunch of black accents in the car, so it actually turned out really well. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for the outside um now let's move on to the inside all right so the inside i have these floor mats here i've had these for a very long time they're extremely dirty but they have held up i might mean a lot of y'all i did a whole video on this before um when i first got them and i installed them they've held up pretty damn well and they're so easy to clean my car is dirty right now so ignore all the shit you see but uh very easy to clean and i highly recommend getting this stuff because it's better than the carpet um so nothing on the door handles here not yet i want to get something here that will uh, you know, match the rest of the interior when I show y'all, but uh, I can't find it yet. And they only have them for Q50s, so I need to figure out how to find one for Q60. Um, nothing else here. Didn't do anything with the seats, didn't need to. Uh, but if we go in the center console area, as you guys can see here, this is forged carbon. I uh, decided to add a, a trim over it, like a little overlay. It's not permanent. I can take it off if I want. But um, I also have a discount code for anyone that wants to go buy some carbon fiber pieces. Uh, Dyna Performance, very high quality stuff, as you guys can see. Uh, like I said, it's very dirty. But uh, this is forged carbon. I wanted to go for a forged carbon look inside the car and then regular carbon on the outside just because it looks cool. Um, and then now let's go by the steering wheel. Now, for probably my favorite mod, it's the steering wheel. Uh, I got a full forged carbon steering wheel, as you guys can see, and it is absolutely beautiful. I wish I can uh, show you the whole view inside the car, but let me see if I can do it with my camera. I don't have a wide lens. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. So, as you guys can see here, it's full forged carbon. I got the red in uh, the center, just because it matches the outside of the car. Also, the red stitching, as you guys can see there. Let me focus it. It's not focusing. Okay, well, anyway, I have the red stitching, as you guys can kind of see. Um, this thing is well built, perfectly made for this car, and uh, I also got it from Dyna Performance. Um, my discount code is the same, Q60 Infinity. And also, if you guys can see in the background, I have this overlay trim around the uh, speedometer area. I also have this little part right here as well. Uh, all it is is just 3M tape, so if you don't tape it up right, it's your fault uh, if it doesn't stick. But uh, yeah, and then now, I think that's it. But now for the most important part, as you guys can see, my favorite, the bags. All right, so probably my favorite mod of them all, I finally decided to have the guts to go and get bags for this car. Um, 
it was a risky decision, I'm not even gonna lie. As y'all know, I live in New Orleans and having bags isn't really the smartest decision as they could easily pop. But I was like, high risk, high reward, whatever whatever that saying is, probably completely wrong. But um, it looks amazing, I'm not even gonna lie. So this is ride height right now. And as you guys can see, I'm very low. Very low on a typical, the typical uh, stock height, which is exactly what I wanted. And um, if I go any lower in the back, it'll start to scrape. And honestly, if I do go any lower, it'll kind of look weird because the front, I can't go much lower. So it'll look like I'm squatting. I don't want to look like that. So on the front, this is uh, pretty much as low as I can go comfortably. I could go lower. But if I do, it's just going to mess the inside of the area up. And I, I don't want to, you know, go too much. But it looks good as it sits. And um, like I said, I'm in New Orleans, so there's a lot of holes and potholes and everything like that that um, could easily mess up the car. So um, installation was done by my boys at Extreme Performance. They did an awesome job. It took about a week, um, which is not bad. I actually spent four or five grand on that on this whole setup, so not bad either. But uh, I, I couldn't I couldn't have gone for a better decision because it, it was either between coils or bags, and having the ability to switch on the fly is amazing. I love being able to, you know, just go up and down or even have that flex of shh when you're at a parking lot, you know. So I'm actually going to demonstrate y'all. I'm going to show y'all a video of it airing out just because I can't blue ball y'all about that stuff. It's like the greatest thing to ever hear and look. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to set y'all up. I'm going to set it on a tripod and then I'm going to get the car started. All right, so for uh, the bags here, they can work on your phone. They can work on your phone, but... Uh, I had a problem with it doing it on my phone and I never did it again because I was scared it was going to happen again So what I'm going to do is I have to obviously go inside the car and air it out from there, which isn't a big deal All right, so as you guys remember before how tucked in the back wheels were, um, now they're even more tucked in, uh, which is even way more beautiful and sexy looking. Uh, as you guys can see here, you can barely even see it on the side. If I even were to poke it up more, you can't see it. But um, is it focus? Why is it not focusing? Why is it called spot focus? What does that even mean? How do I focus cancel? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, as you guys can see, it's very tucked in, which is awesome. And in the front, extremely tucked in. As you guys can see, it's, uh, yeah, no poke anymore. I used to have it poking, and it's really tucked in there now. So the front's almost touching the ground, which, uh, honestly, I couldn't go lower. But that's how much height I have now. Not much. I could fit, I could fit my hand under there, though. But if I go any more, I can't. That's where I'm touching. It just looks so good when it's bagged. Uh, so I'm going to show you all my numbers on it uh, for the preset. Let's see. All right, so the remote right here. All right, let's see. Let me see how I can show this to you all. All right, so the remote. Um, obviously, I'm preset low at the moment. 67, 67, 26, 26. Uh, I can go lower if I hit this bottom button, but I have no reason to. Um, it's already low enough, and if I were to go lower, it kind of mess up the uh, the fenders and all that stuff. So I didn't. Yeah, there's no really need to. But uh, obviously, the middle one is ride height. If I were to double tap that, it goes to ride height. These are my ride height numbers: 124, 121, and then 35, 36. Um, you want to kind of have the numbers all the same, obviously, because then that would be weird if it's not. And then if I go up right here, it'll just raise up the car. I usually do this when I'm washing the car or if it's raining because uh, I don't want to have any water messing up my shit. So, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, that's every mod on this car. I might have missed a few. Uh, actually, I did. Tune. The most important one is the tune. I got an Ecutech tune uh, about four or five months ago. And it was a scary decision to make, but I ended up doing it and I haven't had a single problem with it since. Now, uh, I don't dog the car. I drive it like a normal civilian. Uh, I have 77,000 miles on it, so I have no more warranty or anything. And I also have burbles. I put burbles on this just because I felt like it. And I might actually do a little exhaust run for y'all just to show y'all what it sounds like, because it sounds really good. But um, 
yeah, the tune, I got that. Uh, I recommend getting the tune, um, especially since I'm straight piped and I have down pipes installed as well. And it helps the car out, breathe, and, uh, you know, run better if you have a tune. So, um, yeah, that's me. See it, guys. Um, that's all the mods on this car. I'm going to do a little exhaust uh, run down there for y'all so y'all can hear what it sounds like with the burbles and everything. I don't know how well this camera picks up microphone stuff. So, if it sounds like shit, I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah. Enjoy what it looks like. Follow me on Instagram, Q60 Infinity, if you haven't already. Um, I do a lot of photography work, especially with this camera on this car. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for the support. Subscribe. Talk to y'all later.